Mela. O amuhetse mo moketeng wa tsa bonono wa Freestart. I am Buitu Mela Mohutua and in studio today I have Willem Esterhazer. Hello Willem. Tumela. Tumela Tumi. Legai. Kitela Gai. I'm not. Ah Willem, so you're the director of Grill performing at the Freestart Arts Festival. Yes. Could you please tell me a little bit more about your show? Okay. Well, Grill is the Afrikaans term for the act of being grossed out, mm-hmm. you know, so it's like uh, uh, that, uh, 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 that one, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the show is just basically about a, this is our long story, very short. Mm-hmm. Um, it is about a girl who doesn't know how to grill, mm-hmm. be grossed out, and she goes to a gypsy to learn how to grill. Oh, yeah. Interesting. How can a person not know how to grill? Mm, that you will have to find out at the <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about the rehearsal process. How long have you guys been working on the show and how has it been for you? Too long. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it was actually quite um, fast and it, it, it got there quite quickly. Mm. We started the 28th of May, mm-hmm. I think. And yeah, we stopped at uh, the 29th of June mm-hmm. and now we're just basically doing a few word runs so it's it's been weird because the first show that I did Stierke mm-hmm. I don't know if you've heard of it Butimelo well I wonder <laughs> <laughs> um, that show was part of the uh, incubator mm. and I mean that was five months yes so that was what I was used to yeah so now going to that from that <laughs> to a show where you have to get it up and running in a month mm-hmm. with eight actors <laughs> was definitely something else mm-hmm. <laughs> but it was it was fun i enjoyed doing it and i think the actors enjoyed doing it as well mm-hmm. it was they got everything quite quickly mm-hmm. so yeah it was nice wow. well just like you've mentioned you've done stierke um last year at the free start arts Fe- um, festival so that was your debut as a director and now you're directing Grill. Mm-hmm. Would you tell me maybe what's um, what's so different about the two experiences, uh, apart from the fact that now you're working with such a bigger cast and yeah. such a, uh, you know, so little time yeah. on a show. What did you learn more with, with this show um, apart from Stierke? Well, the thing with Stierke was that it was not only my first um, directorial show, it was my first show that I ever wrote. <laughs> so the pressure was very high. Mm. Um, with this one, it's just, I didn't write it. So mm-hmm. it was written by Neville Schubach and Saskia Payne. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, it just, it felt a little bit more fun. Mm-hmm. Felt like I had a little bit more freedom because, mm-hmm. you know, when you when I wrote it, I had a certain idea in mind yeah. of how it needs to look and what, what, what. So then when I got to directing it, it, it it I took what I wrote and put it on stage. Does mm-hmm. that, that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So now I'm taking a script that I didn't write that I just um, read, mm-hmm. and now incorporating my own ideas and own visuals into it mm-hmm. in the way that I see fit. So that's I think um, what makes it a little a little bit more fun for mm-hmm. me. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So you read the script and you thought, yeah, this one I'm definitely directing. What about Krill made you really want to direct it? It is. Oh, it is full of South African uh, relevance mm. and not just South African relevance, uh, relevance to humanity, relevance uh, to who we are as people. It's, mm. it's, oh, and it's so funny. Mm. <laughs> it's so funny. It's a, it's a, it's a comedy. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like a, you know, I love a dark comedy of course. and it's <laughs> like a, it's like a funny, funny, funny. And then near the end, you it's start like getting a, like, uh, and then it goes back to funny again. Mm. Um, so it's, it's, Oh, it's so funny and I just loved reading it and the visualizations that I got mm. while reading it mm. just made sense to me and I just thought that this is a show that because it was ri- originally written for Tiner to Meal oh, yes. so I thought to myself this is something that needs to be done at a professional um, um, standard mm. <laughs> I'm putting myself on a, <laughs> on, on a pedestal now yeah. but, but my point being not by um, teenagers by people who you know, have, have been, stu- groomed. been gr- groomed and yeah. studied drama and stuff mm. like that, you know. So I felt like it needed to be, you know, performed because yeah. it was written and then it was performed 14 and then it was just left. Mm. And I was like, no, it is still relevant. We need to do this, you know. Wow. So, yeah. Yes. Speaking about relevance, um, what kind of efforts have you been going through, like just to market your show and get people just to know what is coming up? Well, um, I... 
made posters and it was it's different kinds of mm. posters the posters were designed by robin wagner who is a graphic design student from cape town yeah. and um it was just i i i love the posters because mm. they're very i've actually seen the posters they're very very well done thank you honestly. thank you um i'm very proud of the posters so obviously you know posters and flyers and stuff like that but what i've tri- been trying to do was i'm trying to get social media to you know um um get an uproar yeah. let people see it because um if you go on your instagram story and you um 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 gps tag yeah. bloemfontein then people see the bloemfontein story and mm-hmm. then it's people that isn't even following you that sees it and i've been trying to do a little bit of that um the free state arts festival actually made a live video of us talking about mm. khrul and that actually got like a thousand six hundred views wow. so i'm very proud of that <laughs> i'm telling it to everyone yeah. but um it's 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 i'm trying to get social media mm. influences into it because we are living in a world where social media is very apparent and it's very Definitely. a lot of people go on to facebook just before they go to bed mm-hmm. you know yeah so it's something that i want people to at least see every day that there's something about girl there that makes them go You know what? Okay, fine. I've seen this now every day for two weeks. Let me yeah. just go watch it, and then maybe hopefully enjoy it. You know, I'm trying to really get new people to come and enjoy it. Mm. Sounds really amazing. I love the efforts you're putting into marketing your show. <laughs> I try. And I really, really do hope everyone comes to see it because I think it's something to see. I mean, Thank who you. doesn't want to grill just a bit? You know how to grill. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll watch someone learn how to grill, and yeah. in the process, we'll probably know as well. Exactly. Yeah. That is that is kind of the idea of what grill is about. Is the question of what makes you grill. Mm. So yeah. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Willem. So, when is the show showing? It is on the 9th, it's Monday, the 9th of July at 8. Mm-hmm. It is on the 10th of July, Tuesday, at half past 7. And it is on the 11th, Wednesday of July, um, at 9 mm-hmm. at night. And where is it showing? At the Model Leaf Pack of Skazen. Oh, yay. So, I really wish you all the best with um, your production. Thank you. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think everyone would definitely come and see it. Thank you. Ah, uh, and yes, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and that's all we have with Willem Esterhazer and his production Krull. Be sure to catch it at the Freestyle Arts Festival. And thank you again for tuning in. Bye. <laughs>